you're in for a treat. Join me as I push myself to the limits of discovering and mastering the secrets of the kitchen and to ultimately impress the wife. Hello YouTubers and welcome back. Today is an exciting episode. Kunafa has been part of my adulting years. Back in San Diego, my wife and I had to make sure that we eat this at least twice a week. That's a lot of sugar to digest. Thanks to Apple for introducing us to this dessert. Kunafa or knefe is a simple dessert made out of kataifi or shredded phyllo pastry, a stringy cheese and rose water infused syrup. Rose water is somewhat difficult to find, so we will omit that for today. Also, there's a dedicated cooking pan for kanafa. Don't be intimidated if you can't find it. Using a nice stainless steel or non-stick pan will do the trick. Let's start. First order of business, the syrup. Combine the sugar and water. Throw in a piece of clove, cinnamon bark or stick, and a few peels of orange. We'll then cook this until it becomes syrupy. Meanwhile, I have here the kataifi. The phyllo sheets are easier to find, but I've tried plenty of times to slice it thinly. It just doesn't work. You would really need to find the shredded type of phyllo. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure you can find a Middle Eastern, Greek, or Turkish supermarket near you. I got mine at an Asian supermarket. We will have to loosen and untangle the katai feet to make sure that we will not get any raw lumps of dough once we cook this. We'll chop this up until we get 1 cm strands. Transfer it to a bowl and add the melted butter. Mix in the butter evenly. The butter will help make the katai feet crunchy and acquire a nice color. Some chefs add orange food coloring. That's optional, but it does make the dessert look really nice. Now we'll spread more butter in our pan about a tablespoon or two. Yes, you cannot skip this or the dough will stick. Be generous with the butter. I assure you that it won't be oily when it's cooked. Using half of the dough, make a nice bottom layer. Flatten it out using a rubber spatula or a large spoon. Now the cheese. It's the make or break of this dessert. If you can't find lore or dill cheese, that's fine. You can use low moisture shredded mozzarella for substitute. You need a stringy cheese. Spread it until you get an even layer. More cheese the better, you decide. Using the remaining kataifi, cover the mozzarella and flatten it out again. This is ready. Meanwhile, our syrup should be almost done. You'll know it's ready when the syrup is foaming like this and the bubbles seem to be thicker. Set aside. Now here's a tip, go low and slow. Cook this on low heat. Do not, I tell you, do not be so excited that you'll cook this on high. Good luck. Let the butter do the work for you. I cooked one side for about 5 minutes before noticing the bottom getting crispy. Look at the syrup, that looks gorgeous. Notice the brown spots on the side of the kanafa? That means that it's almost time to flip. You can confirm by using a fork or an offset spatula to check. Lift the edge to confirm. I'll add half a tablespoon of butter again around the kataifi just to make sure it's not cling on the sides. Using a plate or chopping board, just flip the thing upside down and return it to the pan. Oh, that's sexy. That's the color that you want to achieve. I'll add another half tablespoon of butter again around the kunafa. Just do the same thing again, wait until this side turns GB. Now we'll pour the syrup. Make sure that you reheat the syrup before pouring it in. I didn't use all of the syrup just to let you know. Oh yeah, look at that. Traditional kunafa is garnished with pistachios. But I don't have any so I use cashews. But anyway, that's it folks. This is a dessert that's to die for. Very simple but it's life changing. Enjoy. And that is it folks. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please give this video a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel to get notifications on upcoming videos or recipes. Until then, see you next time.